All right, welcome in my beautiful Aquarius. This is going to be your weekend forecast where we take a look at the energies in and around you between now and Monday-ish morning. Um, please keep in mind that one of these spreads could resonate for you, bits and pieces of each one. Um, and also uh, the whole thing could be one big overarching storyline for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, show me messages in the best and highest good, please, for my beautiful Aquarius. Okay, so we have chair filled, someone new. Let's work with me here, card. Okay, someone new is entering your life. I'll pull the charms at the end of these readings, okay? All right, we have turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. And we have bell announcement. Uh, for some of you, you could have someone that's, um, if, especially like if you're getting into some kind of new connection, new, I'm hearing commitment. Um, you could have some people that are like, <sighs> I want to say, or someone um, <clears throat> that could have a bit of a jealous eye. I've been picking that up a lot lately. All right, show me please for Aquarius. Three of Swords. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is, uh, I feel like, yeah. <clears throat> the Chariot. Okay. I, I really feel like you're entering into something here or someone's entering into your life, but there's someone on the outside. Um, my loves that I feel like it's because they're heartbroken. It's because they're hurting from it. Um, this person may be at a distance from you. Could be another Aquarius. Cancer is here. Scorpio is here. Show me the Six of Cups, please. Let me see what's going on. Show me the Six of Cups. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, something, Some. this is somebody, this is the somebody entering your life here, whoever this is. For some of you, you could be having a child. You could be having a baby. Knight of Cups. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Man, why why do I feel like this could be the this this is the somebody entering your life, but I feel there's somebody around. This is very nice. It could be a water sign. I've got cancer here, but this is Scorpio. Could be someone that is at a distance. The person that is evil eyeing or that has the jealous um eye here could be um could be the person at a distance show me this chariot let me see what's going on here you could have someone traveling towards you judgment i'm hearing sudden travel okay hanged man eight of swords okay so what's interesting is that either someone saying something to you that puts you like a feeling like you can't move or um, something comes through here and I feel like it's because you're trying to get the full picture. That's such a strange message to get in the middle of this. Hold on a minute. Show me this King of Swords. The announcement seems to be whatever this judgment card is about. Queen of Wands. Give me one second. Let me get the full picture here. Yes, Five of Swords. Ugh. This is the person that I'm picking up on the outside, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, don't try. Okay, so it, okay, so this is what I'm seeing happening. Ten of Pentacles. You've waited a long time for something here. I see that, um, yeah, I see the devil. There's the tower. You've waited a long time for something. It's finally coming through. It feels like it seems to be in the form of a person, maybe a relationship, okay? But you've got something on the outside, I feel like this is this is somehow brought to the light or some somehow somebody receives this information and they're going to try and do something here that's going to try and direct you more toward them. But I feel like it's just a trick. I feel like it looks big, okay? And it might even be something that you're attracted to, but ultimately it seems like this is somebody playing games. You're going to be feeling like you can't move toward the thing that's actually coming toward you. You see what I'm saying? You're going to feel uncertain about that or maybe not necessarily uncertain, but like not sure which direction to go. 
Let me see more about this announcement energy with this judgment. Show me this. It could be somebody coming into town. Hierophant. It could be a um, somebody getting married. Somebody having been proposed to or be, you're being proposed to. Or it seems like entering in some sort of significant contract at this point. Okay. Um, what is this trickery going to look like? It's strategy. Somebody's using strategy here. Two of cups. You, it feels like you probably wanted whatever this was at some point, but you've got something else and this whatever it was that you wanted before is trying to come in and keep that from happening. Man, that's like high school stuff. So I'm just going to move on from this spread. So just be aware of anything that could be happening like this for you, okay? And that somebody showing up that maybe you wanted before presenting something to you is um, I just don't want to stick in that energy too much. Um, it could be like, um, for some of you, maybe temptation. For others of you, I feel like it's not a temptation at all. It's just nonsense. So sorry that you're having to deal with that. <laughs> Let me just burn a little bit of this. Okay, my loves, let's go ahead and move on to the next spread. Show me for Aquarius, please. Energies in and around Aquarius between now and Monday-ish morning. What do we need to know and see in here, please? Firecracker, excitement. Okay. Something exciting could be happening over the weekend, maybe. All right. We have chain of events that will affect your life. Okay. We have target a goal-oriented person. Okay. For some of you, this is someone seeing that you have, um, I'm not going to even use this deck, um, that you have some kind of um, talent here or skill that is, hmm, I'm hearing beneficial, I'm hearing lucrative, um, however that applies. Show me what we need to know and see in here, please. In accordance with divine law for Aquarius between now and Monday-ish morning. of swords okay the lovers i'm telling you man this is big time stuff you could see some massive change especially with this eclipse coming in king of pentacles this feels like someone's been um i want to get more on that seven of swords but it kind of feels like this is again more strategy it doesn't feel like maybe connected to the last reading but it could be uh four of swords Okay, show me the Seven of Swords. Show me the Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. The Hermit. And the Emperor. Yeah, see, there's you, somebody is quietly observing you. Could be a boss watching you. It could be someone that sees value in who you are, what you provide. You know what I mean? Something like this. It feels more like your compassion is um, maybe your intuition is something that is this person deems valuable, whoever this is. So this is the goal oriented person I'm seeing that's showing up. It says target. I feel like in this case, you are the target. You don't see this. You don't know that this is around. You might feel it. Show me the lovers. But your back is turned here, I'm seeing. Five of swords. Okay. I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing, but let me get more here on this situation. Three of wands. This is somebody who wants possibly a romantic opportunity with you. Um doesn't have to be romantic. I see that there's something about business or work, business, project, something like that, that's part of this or that will become part of this or it will exist as that to begin with and then it turns romantic. I can tell you that there's an undertone of romance here for whoever this is or some sort of romantic interest here. And again, I don't feel like this Five of Swords is a bad thing. I don't feel like it's a negative thing. I, what I feel is that this person's not telling you 
the full nature of their interest. Okay? Pay attention to any bosses. Um, if you have a boss that's approaching you with something here, for you, it seems like something that's going to change your life. Um, something that's going to be beneficial for you to be a part of or for you to um, involve yourself in. But there's more to this. So you may get the approach maybe this weekend. If you already are involved, there could be the opening up about the true intention behind it. Someone wants an opportunity with you more than what it looks like on the surface. I hope that makes sense. Show me this King of Pentacles. We got Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo. Scorpio is now here. Gemini, Virgo, yeah. King of Cups. Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you someone's holding back their feelings. It might feel like a struggle for this person, or this could be you if you're the one holding back feelings. Kind of somebody wants long-term investment here. They feel like they can't do anything about it just yet. Okay, but this may come to this may come to light over the weekend. Show me more about this Eight of Swords. This person may have been hesitant to tell you about feelings. Yeah, they've been holding themselves back, deciding how, when, where, that kind of thing. This can't, I feel like it, it this has got to be somebody in your work environment or somebody you're working with and you just don't realize, like, if you have experienced a situation where you felt like there was something going on between you and another person, but there was no like evidence of it, this would be what this is. Show me, show me the four of swords here. Six of cups. Wow. Five of cups. Tower. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Jeez. Aquarius. Um, seems like this person might be connected to another individual. You may hear from this individual. There may be... There may be even... I don't... Not seeing cards of fighting, but I see blow-ups possibly between these two people. Oh gosh. For some of you, this person's wanting to like land in your lap, come out of some sort of like explosion. Okay. Not literally. And kind of just fall into your lap. That's how they're showing it to me. That's very vivid. Um, you may hear from another party that's connected with this person over the weekend. Yep, some truth may come out about that. This is a whole lot of stuff here. Tell me, the, tell me, um, what do I want to ask here? Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> the Empress again. It's somebody's maybe spouse, mother, maybe. Somebody here. There is the Five of Wands. Okay, yeah, there's some sort of. This person's fighting with someone that, that seems like they're already in a commitment with, or you are. There's another person involved here. I feel like you might be the other person. I'm going to read it as you reverse the roles as needed. You could be the spouse. Okay. Um, somebody's falling into someone's lap. There has been an interest. And I feel like during that interest, this person has been pulling away from someone else or has been like... He, in their mind, you know, like um, daydreaming, cheating, <laughs> something like this. Um, and I'm not saying this person is trying to cheat, but I do see some sort of blow up. Um, I do see any sort of um, hesitancy that this person has to relay how they're feeling or what they want with you. 
um, may be resisted because there's a family situation or some sort of, um, yeah, they may not want to disappoint certain people or they don't want to have another disappointment or they don't want to have another screw up that people would see as a screw up. Um, but there is definitely, I feel like that what's happening over the weekend is that there is an awareness that this is going on, that this is something that's, um, taking place or that this is an energy that's in your, in your sphere here. Okay. That's very interesting. I'm just going to say, <laughs> okay. But there is something here. I mean, I don't know. It seems like this person either wanted to, and you already are working with this person, or they're going to come in and be like, Hey, I want to work together with you on this. <clears throat> Someone may not like it. Okay. There could be a very, I don't get the queen of pentacles and the empress being jealous at all. So there might be something to this. Okay. I don't know. This is somebody else's energy or it's you or it's, I don't know. You're connected to the person. I don't know. It, you're going to have to put your, cause I don't think for ev all of you, you're the one that's being approached for most of you. That's probably the case. Okay. So let's move on to the next spread. Goodness. What is up with these readings are so like, I don't want to say drama filled, but whew. Oh, Lord. All right, let's take a look. Show me for Aquarius, please. Can we get out of that energy? That'd be great. Show me for Aquarius. Anything for Aquarius, please? Messages in the best and highest good between now and Monday-ish morning for Aquarius. Cool okay, charms here after this spread. Show me any to know, please. Bird perched. Waiting for news package letter. Okay, involvement with the law. This might be some sort of document here that you're um, you're waiting on. Um, bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay, you might be seeing how some you might be waiting for something to trickle down so you know like how it's gonna go. Um, if this is something that you feel like is you're being attacked by something, then like not literally, but you know what I mean energetically attacked in some way. Um, seems to me that you're you're feeling like you're in the right. All right, show me what this is. Something may be wrapping up legally uh, today for you. Two of Cups could be like a finality on a divorce. Some of you could have like a... Could have a... Um, like a court date today. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you might be missing work for it. And the Star. Well, it kind of, it seems like it. I hate to call the Star is not really a completion, but it does look like there's a there's a knowing, a finally a knowing about something or knowing fully about something. I hope that makes sense. Show me the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. This is very positive. Why do I feel like this might be happening today? The lovers. You may get some sort of confirmation of something while you're at work. It could be have some sort of legal grounds or be... I feel like it's just something official. It doesn't have to be like something necessarily legal. It could be some kind of documentation that comes through news of some kind of official documentation or something's finalized. You could be learning a lesson about not backing down or not letting something run you over too. Okay. With this bull energy. Show me this five of pentacles, please. Queen of swords. Yeah, some of you could be like worried about missing work for this if you have to go somewhere or deal with this. Ten of Wands. And the world. Yeah, for some of you um, that have been struggling maybe financially or just struggling in some way in your material world, even, even energetically, it could be like your physical energy. Um, that looks like it's coming to some, some, some kind of end. There's a finality to something I'm seeing. Well, I feel like it's today. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like it's today. 
King of Cups. Show me the star. Give me a second. Let me. Ten of Cups. Wow. That's beautiful. Five of Swords. Okay. King of Swords. Give me one more on that. Thank you. Ace of Swords. So I, I'm, I'm hearing a title that I did before. All of everything that you've been through is going to be worth it. It's going to feel worth it. I don't, there's a reading I did with that. You can probably search it, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, but I'm hearing that. There's some sort of struggle that you've been through. There's something, there's something like happy happening for you, something destined even happening for you, but you may not trust it. You may be kind of standoffish about it until you know what it's really all about. Show me about this two of cups. The Hermit Virgo energy. Wow. This could be a Virgo. This could just be something that's been kind of going on behind the scenes. Show me more about this. What's this Ace of Swords? You're going to hear. There it is. That's the news. You have good news coming to you. It may involve someone that you love. Okay, it may have something to do with someone that you love or someone that's important to you or has significance in your life, I should say, where it may have been some sort of struggle before it may be is coming to some it looks like it's coming to some kind of resolution. That's very interesting. You may, have been, um, you may have been tackling something alone here, managing something alone, maybe children for some of you. Um, this could be like something like a finality on um, someone finally working together with you on co-parenting or anything like that. Okay, let me pull some charms here. Let me pull this up. Very interesting readings. I'm, I'm going to keep it light because of my energy. The eclipse is already affecting me and I've got some things. You guys know I've got some things going on and um, good things. But um need to uh preserve my energy so having said that next week you may not, i mean i'm gonna i have a lot of readings done for you but you may not um you may not see it may be a little spotty okay just fyi i'm gonna try to keep it keep it uh in a state of flow but if i need that time please allow me that time i know you guys will okay give me a second let me get the letters all straight here I'm hearing Kirkpatrick. Is that a last name? Kirkpatrick? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm seeing A-V. I don't know if that's a name. A-V-E-E. -E. I'm seeing the word A-V or a name A-V. That's interesting. That's a unique name. Okay, one moment. Okay, I'm seeing Ford. Ford, like the car, Ford. Okay, I'm seeing something about Penn State, P-E-N-N -N State. That's in Pennsylvania, is it not? Okay, I'm seeing Anaheim. An Anaheim. I'm also seeing AA, so someone could be working with AA or they're known for that, or I guess it could be initials, but it feels more like the organization or the... hearing Kirkpatrick again I don't know or maybe it's just Patrick I'm, I'm definitely seeing Kirkpatrick but it could be Kirk or Patrick <laughs> okay okay the the initials KPN are standing out to me I don't know if somebody's initials are KPN or um It could be like a news outlet or something like that, <laughs> some sort of network. Okay, I'm hearing high five. Yeah, okay, they're saying good job. So there's, I don't know, there's something about that. Maybe a lot of these readings seems like something is finally coming through, so. Okay, God forbid I'm seeing OD, so someone could have OD'd at some point. Um, there could be some sort of rehabilitation or something going on with, for someone right now. Um, OD. 
Okay, I'm hearing the name Otis. Okay, I've got vineyard. You could be visiting a vineyard or you could live in a place that has the name vineyard in it. It could also be, I'm seeing vineyard, like a road, like a road sign that says vineyard on it. Okay, that might be specific. I don't know. I'm getting specifically California. I know there's a lot of vineyards in California. There's vineyards everywhere, but still, <laughs> I'm here in California. Okay, I'm hearing AJ. Okay, I'm hearing the word fodder. I don't know fodder. F-O-D-E-D-E-R, F-O-D-D-E-R, fodder. Javier. I think I said Anaheim already. I'm hearing that again. Okay, that's all I'm getting. I'm not, that happened in, when I did Scorpio's, uh, no, that was Pisces. I didn't get a lot of like, um, I didn't get like a flood of messages. I got some very specific ones and then I got blocked. So I'm feeling the same thing. So my loves, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Please come back and let me know how this plays out for you. Don't forget about your week ahead uh, reading that's posted and then we'll just see how tomorrow plays out. I've, I've already uh, got your daily reading, so we'll probably... Um, actually, I think I, I did a daily reading for you guys and it, there's an extension to it. So, all right, my loves, I'm going to leave this here. I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you on the flip side. Mooches.